Here we are again at Gamescom 2015 and this time we're joined by Scott Phillips who is a game director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Welcome. Thank you. So this time we're going to have a, like a little interview about, uh, about EV. So we shall start with uh, what is Evie's spe specific role in Syndicate's story? What is going to make her stand out in the game? So Evie's focus in the story, she's helping Jacob take back London, but her main thrust is trying to find a piece of Eden that they know is hidden in London and that the Templars are looking for. So Evie is going to be able to try and uncover mysteries and figure out uh, where that piece of Eden has been hidden since it's a very powerful first civ artifact. Thank you. And so, um, Hivi has, has been described as the, the twin who is closer to the Assassin's Creed. So, can you expand on that maybe and give some examples if possible? So, Hivi, she's more methodical. Okay. She plans her approaches. She thinks about the consequences of her actions. Uh, she makes sure that she only does exactly what's needed. And if something occurs, like because of uh, what she did, she will try and go and resolve that issue. She'll tr go and try and fix it. Because she looks at, uh, at the assassins not as the kill is the end of the assassin relation with uh, trying to solve a problem. That's an element of it. And then they need to actually move forward and try to right whatever that person was doing wrong. So they try to look for a solution. So Evie has more of the... Uh, we've sort of related her a little bit to uh, Altair has a very similar mindset to her. So she's similar in that uh, very calm and controlled nature. Okay, thanks. And so um, can you tell, a bit, tell us a bit about, uh, you know, Evie's backstory? How is it different from Jacob's one? Uh, well, they both grew up together. They lost their father at an early age. They've been uh, part of the Assassins, uh, since, well, basically since birth. Uh, but they're they're just different characters there so their backstory is is very similar uh, but they've just taken their mindset is a little bit different so that's how it affects the future okay thanks and uh, you know we have a, another question uh, about you know Evie's character model so is there a reason why she's wearing a cape with a crest of the assassins that is very similar to the one of the Italian Brotherhood assassins or is it like a uh, coincidence if you can talk about it uh, that would probably be a better question for Jeff uh -huh. he could probably answer I I, uh, I couldn't say I don't know that there's a specific okay. reason for it ask him privately then <laughs> okay um, so let's talk about uh, a bit about the gameplay um, in which way are the EV mission in the main path going to be different from the from the Jacob one will it differ just for story reasons or will the approach change to well, because Evie is going to be focused more on stealth, uh, those missions will be more stealth oriented. So her skills will come into play more with those. So if you've been out in the open world and upgraded her and gotten things like the chameleon skill that we showed here at Gamescom, uh, you'll see how that can really affect the gameplay of those missions. Okay. And uh, speaking of this, our fan Andrea uh, uh, Andrea asks: uh, Will there be side missions that can be that can be played as Evie or Jacob only, or does that apply only to the to the main missions to the missions in the main path? Uh, there are the side missions are playable by either character. They're okay. not limited to one. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, it was mentioned in the past months that uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate will feature a double uh, a double skill tree for both uh, of the characters. So can you tell us uh, how it is going to work and are there going to be skills in common between the twins? Uh, which kind of skills, uh, or skills will be specific to Eevee maybe? So yes, they have split skill trees. Eevee has a few skills that are hers only that Jacob can't access and Jacob has the same. He has some skills that she can't access. Uh, and those are focused on, like we said, uh, fight for Jacob and stealth for Evie. But the core of their abilities are their assassins. So as, as with all the other assassins we've had uh, in the series, they have those, those core tools of uh, like a smoke bomb and knives, those basic tools, uh, as well as uh, those basic skills and abilities that will expand over the course of the game. So while they have some that are separate, they also have uh, a, a bulk that are 
the core assassin abilities. Okay. Thanks. Um, uh, almost to wrap, to wrap it up. Um, uh, how did will the character customization be in Syndicate? Will there be the same amount of you know clothes that was in Unity for both uh, Jacob and Evie? Uh, we've looked at customization as similar to Unity. Uh, what we've also felt is that because we allow you to choose between Jacob or Evie in the open world, that brings an even greater level of customization because that changes both the gameplay and sort of your experience because there will be different voice lines based on if you're playing Jacob or Evie. And you'll get different uh, mindsets as they approach things. You'll hear them say different things. So there, uh, there are customization differences as well as uh, just sort of player experience differences of being each character. And does that apply to weapons too, maybe? Uh, the weapons are shared. So if you buy a weapon for Jacob, or with Jacob, you'll have that weapon available as Eevee, and you can make choices of equipping one with a uh, brass knuckle, and then Eevee can have the cane, or vice versa. Uh, okay. So to wrap the up, this up completely, so uh, can you tell us who is your fa favorite character between Jacob or Eevee? You know, at, at different times of day or different, whatever, depending on my mood, I'll play as one or the other. Uh, so when I want to stealth, which, like, I, I, I'm i not naturally a stealth player, but with Eevee, I really like to play stealth. Uh, and then when I want to go and, and uh, shoot the gun and just, you know, get a little crazier, then Jacob is my man. So it, it depends on uh, my mood. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's it for this interview. Thank you so much, Scott, for being here. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.